Welcome back to Wanna Hosting. On today's tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to create a new email address on Outlook. First, you need to be logged into our site and you're going to want to click on Services in order for us to log in into Plesk. Now click on the Active button on the far right of the screen. Now scroll down a bit and click on Manage Domains. Good, we're now logged into Plesk. Click on the Mail tab and then click on Mail Accounts. Wait for it to load and then click on Create Email Address. Punch in desired email address. We'll use Emmanuel in this tutorial and then generate a new password, confirm it and then copy it to the description in Plesk and then click OK. Wait for it to load. Now, on the far right of the screen, we'll click on the mail icon and this will take us to webmail. Our login details will be our new email address and the new generated password and then simply log in. Eureka! We're in! Notice that we have webmail.thenola as our address this is how we access our emails online everywhere. However, we need to go to Outlook. We're going to click on File and then on Add Account, type in our email address. Remember, we're just using a manual as an example. Your email will be whatever you created earlier. When you've entered your email, click Connect. Wait for it to load and then click on IMAP. Good, now on the server, type in mail.thenola, whereas in your case, it will be mail your registered domain name. On the port number, type in 993. Choose SSL TLS on encryption method and then check the box where it says Secure Password Authentication. On outgoing mail, next to the server prompt, type in mail.thenola, but remember to use your own email address and extension and then change the port number from what it is to 465, select SSL TLS on encryption method and then check the box. The only difference is just the port numbers. Click Next. Paste in the password and click Connect. Wait for it to load. Click Done. There's just a few things that we need to sort out. Go to Files on the top left of the screen, click Account Settings, then Account Settings again. Double click on the email address and then replace the email with your name. We'll be using Emmanuel for this example and want a hosting on the organization. Then we click Next and then click Done. Go back and click on File, then Options the bottom left of the screen and then click on Mail. Under Compose Messages, look for the Signatures button. This is where you'll get to create your signature for your email. You'll click on the image icon and it will require you to upload an image signature of your choice. If you want to create a new one, just click on New, you'll select the image signature and upload it there. Click OK to apply. You can check this by clicking on New Email. It should pop up under the email body and just like that, you have now created a new email address with a signature on Outlook. And as always, if you still questions that need answers, leave them below in the comment section and we'll gladly get back to you.